watch his eyes. Remember, a man's intent is in his eyes. <laughs> Smaller is smarter. What shall we do with him? Hmm? Well, I want, I want the English lads. What for? Well, they look so tender. I bet they taste good in a stew. <laughs> <laughs> My boys stay with me. Throw them to the crocs. <laughs> it's me. You can keep the boys. Ah, oh, thank you, ma'am. Hmm? You won't be sorry. I've got some coriander seeds and some ginger sage. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, you better come with me. You're not going to like this. Jimmy, Jimmy. Come on. Come on, take your... good for well as you can see I'm handy with a blade how are you my friends call me Jimmy Jimmy but the name's hook James hook Where's Jimmy Peter how did you get here get your clothes on I've got a canoe waiting below put the pistol down Peter Bonnie's a friend Bonnie how many more in your litter hook let me speak to him didn't know he was here Give me the gun, Peter. Wait, Sergei. Peter, give me the gun. Tell him to put his away first. Listen to me, Peter. Captain Bonnie and her men are on our side. She's assured me that the boys will be well looked after. The Indians say they're crazy. Indians? She's with the savages. Trust me, Peter, they're anything but crazy. These are our people. It's a dangerous place. They can help us survive. You want to stay here with her? We've nowhere else to go. We can stay with the Indians until we find a way home. They'll scalp and skin the lot of you. No, they won't. They're good people. How do you know? They're kind. Listen to me, Peter. I'm staying here. If you want to stick with me, give me the gun. I don't trust them, Jimmy. So trust me. think I want it. I heard your girlfriend. You don't want people going back. It doesn't mean you, Peter. I'll make sure you get back safely. Then let me take it back to my crew. I have a better idea. Why don't they come to us? Us? Who's us? The pirates? Because they will kill them. Just like they, just like they kill Fox. That was a terrible mistake. I tried to stop it. You let it happen. You become one of them. Listen to me, Peter. There's something in this. 
this world that will completely change our lives in London, make us more powerful than you can ever imagine. And Bonnie and her men can help us find it. She's turned your head, Jimmy. Give me that knife. I taught you too well. You just want that woman! You couldn't be more wrong. I didn't pull you out of that workhouse because I took pity on you, Peter. I did it because of the debt I owed. To your mother. You, you knew my mother. you up and greet you as my own. And I won't give up on you now. This is my watch. It was your father's. A risk worth taking. We set off at first light, ready ten of your best men. I I'm captain, I will decide what's best. You listen to me! Now that I have the orb, I intend to return to London, but not before I have the power of the mineral dust coursing through my veins. I will be a god amongst men and rule over the same London society that banished me to the fringes of the East End. Countless scores will be settled. You have a choice, Liz. Stand with me and have all the thrills of the modern world at your fingertips. Or remain here and rule over the living dead for the rest of eternity. <clears throat> You're wearing my best suit of clothes. Not anymore. I should have dropped you when I had the chance. Then drop me now. any of them run to your defense. Hmm? Two hundred years on the same boat, and no one cares if you live or die. You're mine. Now you understand. There's a lookout on each end. Just one? Yeah. But one can turn into twenty in a heartbeat. So I better go talk to him. Tell him why I'm here with the pirate. Hello. Peter? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm Peter. Perhaps I was too quick to doubt. Richard, hurry. It'll be clinical. We'll be in and out before anyone notices. I trust you. 
You've done the right thing, Peter. Believe me, it'll all turn out for the best, I promise. Now, come on. What went wrong? What happened? I don't know. She did everything exactly as I did. Except... Except what?! The tree spirits were here then, singing a strange song. <laughs> You're just like your father. Self-righteous. Smug. And I see through your innocence just as I saw through his. What are you talking about? Think I'd let him get away with humiliating me? Stealing my girl? Oh, there were no hard feelings. Once I cut him open like a Christmas goose. You killed my father! He had his chance! It was a fair duel! So why did you take me? I loved your mother. I saw her in you. Stupidly thought I could ease the guilt by rearing you as my own. But all I made was another one just like you. Wait. I have two shots. And there are five of you who will it be. How about you, Starkey? You could take me. If you had the guts. Just because it didn't turn out how we want it doesn't mean we have to give up. I could get more men here in days, heavily armed with Gatling guns and grenades and fire in their hearts. Fifty, a hundred, perhaps a thousand. overrun the Indians and force the tree spirits to give up the secret of the mineral dust.